Okay, we're recording. Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR, Town of 16 in Quincy, Illinois. And you're watching Behind the Scenes. That's a program that we record right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Well, here we are about the middle of February already, coming up on Valentine's weekend. Yes, <laughs> and you know what? There's many ways that we uh, celebrate Valentine's, I guess. Sometimes we give out boxes of candy. I was very blessed this past week. Someone gave me a box of candy. And then there is, we can send cards. And I love this little um, plaque. It says, you are so loved with a great big heart on it. I know we're not close enough to the camera. But anyway, I love that. But you know, the greatest expression of love, yeah, was at the old rugged cross. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I am so thankful that here at WTJR for 35 years, we have proclaimed the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ proclaims love, yes, as Jesus went about, he was drawn to people by his compassion for them. And because of God's great for love for us, like I said in that scripture, he gave his only begotten son. And how did he give him? He brought him to this earth. Yes, he came from heaven to this earth, that babe born in a manger. Had a purpose and a plan for his life, that he would one day go to the old rugged cross. He would come that sacrifice, perfect lamb of God without spot or blemish. He had no sin, but we had a debt we could never pay. And because of that, Jesus went to the cross and he shed his blood. And it didn't end there. He arose on the third day. It did not end there. He ascended into heaven where he is today, seated at the right hand of God still interceding for us. And he's waiting for that glorious day when he will return and bring his children home. The greatest expression of love was on the old rugged cross. I pray that you reach out to somebody this weekend, maybe even today while you're watching this show, and not only say, I love you, but show them that you love them, okay? And if we would love one another as God commanded us, wow, what a wonderful, wonderful life we would have here with more love, with more love. And But it's up to you and I to reach out in love, pull people up out of those hard places by your love, Encourage people with your love. And most of all, tell them about Jesus Christ. That's the greatest gift that you can offer to anybody is salvation. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So go tell people about Jesus, and you will be sharing your love with them. Amen? Amen. Well, we have just a few pictures today from last week. We start with last Friday. Uh, I co-hosted on Pray 16 with Pastor Gary Wallace. He's our host for that program. And he's pastor at River of Life Church here. And that just shows another uh, part of the studio. We have a table out in the middle of the floor. 
God's supposed to always be in the center of everything. Amen. <laughs> and uh, that's where we want to start, in the center with God. Amen. This is a new set. And I'll tell you what, I'm so thankful for our staff here. Jim Wilson, our engineer, for Nick. Uh, he's in the master control room for Karen, uh, administrative assistant. But they all wear a lot of hats. But Jim Wilson mainly come up with this idea God gave him. Isn't that beautiful? That is our new set for Pastor Speaks. And we can change the lights like at Christmas. We put red lights in there. I just love that. It just looks beautiful. Of course, we painted that wall and put up the um, um, shiplap. It looks like shiplap paneling. And uh, it just looks beautiful. I'm just so excited to be able to start taping programs on that set. Amen. And then I want to remind you, last week I spoke about this, but we have this very nice Baldwin organ and the bench. And inside the bench are a lot of psalm books to help you if you're just a beginner or uh, on the organ. It'll help you uh, to learn more about playing the organ. We would love to give this to somebody, to a church, maybe to a young person, uh, someone that's interested in learning how to play the organ and pray that you will use it for the glory of God. So contact us here. We would love to give this organ to somebody. Okay? Thank you. Okay, back to me. Don't you like this new set? I know at first when I thought of blue, but boy, when I see it in the room, it just looks beautiful with the bookcases and the new flooring. Yeah, I just really love it. The whole, yeah, show them the whole studio. We've got a fourth camera that Jim has put up in one of the corners. And so we can show the whole studio, especially when we do our live programs, uh, Pray 16 and Revive America. You can see some of the other sets there, but it just uh, looks very, very nice. And we want to thank God uh, for those that blessed uh, us through donations. And uh, thank God for always supplying our needs. Amen? Amen. Okay, here at the studio, prayer on Mondays at 1 p.m. for one hour. We if you'd like to join us, we have, are on the second floor here at 222 North 6th Street. There is an elevator available, and uh, we would love to have you join us in prayer. If you need prayer, please call us here at WTJR, 217-228-1616. Karen and Phyllis is here. We're always honored to uh, pray with you. If you happen to call and get the answering machine. Leave your name and phone number and you want prayer and we'll get back to you, okay? So winning training. <clears throat> training. Uh, right now we're not an able, and especially with the weather, to go out on the streets. But if you're interested in having uh, some training or encouragement in uh, maybe calling people up on the phone or just uh, talking to people one-on-one uh, -on -one about Jesus and praying with them, give us a call here. We'd love to help you. Our, our theme scripture is from Mark 16, 15, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Christ video. I want to tell you about this new program that we started airing uh, this month and um, in February. It's Christ video and it airs on WTJR channel 16.1 and 16.3. Also, you get it over the air, okay? You can get it uh, on our web streaming at WTJR.org. This airs on 16.1. Uh, on Tuesdays at 3 p.m., Friday at 10 p.m., and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. And on 16.3, it airs in the early hours of the morning up to about 7 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And then after 4 o'clock, uh, up through uh, the rest of the day, on Monday through Friday. And then it's on Saturday and Sunday, okay? The rest of the time, it's on uh, CTNI, which is Spanish Christian Programming, Monday through Friday from 7 to 4. It is produced by Jim Wilson, our engineer at WTJR, and he's got a little bit of a video he's going to show you later on about that program. Uh, so be sure and, and uh, watch that. Moving on to HD. We're excited because we are moving on. Phase one was the new cameras, the switchers, etc. They've been installed. And praise God, we've been uh, taping programs now for about eight months. 
uh, with them. Praise two, uh, the lighting. Uh, we still finishing up just a little bit of work and doing some adjustment there, but it is mainly an all installed. Phase three is the, the new flooring, painting, and updating the sets. We started this work on December the 30th last year. Well, we were very blessed to have these items donated, the paint for the walls, the paneling for the new set, and the flooring, about half of the flooring, $1,200, and the manpower to lay the new flooring, praise God. And uh, we still need to raise $2,200 to pay off the new flooring. As of today, we have raised $620. If you would like to help us meet this goal and make a donation here to WTJR, be sure you mark on your check this for the HD fund or new flooring. And uh, we are so thankful, like I said, for each one of you that have helped us, not only with this project, but all through the years to meet those goals. Amen? Amen. Elijah and Elisha Impartation Weekend, Friday, February 26th, and Saturday, February 27th, here at the WTJR Studio, 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. There will be no child care provided. We have no place or room to do that. And so um, I'm sorry about that, but we just will not be able to have child care provided. Uh, we'll start Friday evening on the 26th at 6 p.m. with a prayer service. And at 7 p.m., Evangelist Robert Newton will bring a message. We will hold this uh, service downstairs in the open arms sanctuary that's located on the first floor. On Saturday, we'll start at 10.30 a.m. with Prophet Benny Baker, and then we'll break for lunch at 12 noon. That's served here on WTJR. You will be our guest. And then at 2 p.m., we start our afternoon sessions with Dr. Ron Brees, 3 p.m. with Pastor Tim Redd, and back at 4 p.m. with Dr. Ron Brees. We will break for supper, and you'll be on your own then. And this will all be held, these events on Saturday during the day will be held here on the second floor in the WTJR studio. Then we'll come back after supper and we will have a message by Dr. Sean Strong at 7 p.m. Again, we will be downstairs on the first floor in the open arms sanctuary. So plan to attend this Elijah and Elisha impartation weekend <clears throat> Friday, <clears throat> February 26th and Saturday, February the 27th, right here at WTJR. If you've got questions, give us a call. Amen. Download the CTN app. I know some of you have already done that. You've talked to me about it. But you can put the CTN app on your iPhone, your tablet, or your Android, or on your television if you have Roku or Apple TV. And you can watch all of the CTN affiliate stations. WTJR is on there and has four channels. Uh, uh, the first channel is our national local programming. Uh, second channel is CTN Lifestyle. <clears throat> third channel is uh, CTNI, which is Spanish Christian programming, and also the um, Christ video channel. And then we have 16.4, which is CTN from headquarters in uh, Tampa, Florida. So be sure and put that on your app and you can take WTGR with you wherever you may travel. Amen. Friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Uh, we have some live programming on there. As you know, we have the Pray 16 program on Fridays at 11 a.m. And then we have Revive America once a month, the first Tuesday of the month. At 7 p.m. we have the worship, and 7.30 we have a message with evangelist Robert Newton. We also have community calendar of events. We have scriptures. We have videos. We keep try to keep it updated each day. So go on our Facebook page, WTJR TV, and friend us. Amen? Amen. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy. Uh, I am leading a series entitled Faith. It's a Bible trivia. In fact, I call it Joy in the Word. And uh, this is part nine. And uh, I pray you will join me on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Conquering Your Giants this next week with host Duke Duvall is a series, Why Are You Downcast 
O oh my soul, this is part one. I will remind you that any of the local programming, like A Woman's Joy, Conquering Your Giants, Simple Truth, Pastor Speaks, uh, Behind the Scene, Outreach Connection, uh, these programs are on our YouTube page, okay? And so if you want to catch up or you missed a program, you can go to our YouTube page and watch that program. This will be coming up on Conquering Your Giants, Why Are You Downcast, Oh My Soul, Part 1, next week on Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. and Sunday at 6.30 a.m. Pastor Speaks Special, uh, this is Part 2 of a message of the urgency of the hour. And our guests were Pastors Gary and Paula Wallace of River of Life Church here in Quincy. You can watch this on Sunday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on Pray 16 this next Friday, Gary Wallace will be hosting with a co-host will be evangelist Melva Johnson. She's with Helping Hands Baptist Church in Hannibal also a chaplain here at Blessing Hospital. That will be on Friday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. And we do repeat the program on Mondays at 9 p.m. And even though it's a repeat, uh, you can call in your prayer request, give us your praise reports. You can email praise16 at wtjr.org. And you can also watch it live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Coming up this next week on The Simple Truth uh, with teacher, Bible teacher John Furness. The Gospel of John. He has started a new series. This is part one, studying the Gospel of John. And you can watch that on Monday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Coming and also I want you to be sure to watch one of our new programs that started in January, the Ten Commandment series. And that's hosted by Jim Daniels. You can watch that on Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday at 5 p.m. Hometown Happenings. If you have an event, a church event, an outreach ministry, and you want us to announce it here on Behind the Scenes, there's the information how you can get a hold of us. And I today want to highlight Tri-State Area CWM. That's the Center for Women's Ministries located here in Quincy at 522 South 8th Street. First of all, I want to tell you about their Cup of Grace. This is coffee and uh, devotions for women. And that is uh, the morning cup is at 10 a.m. The evening cup is at 6 p.m. And this is ongoing every Tuesday and Thursday. You can join them. And I can, if you want more information, you can call them at 440-8200. They also have a new... A study going to start on March 3rd called Making Peace with Your Past. Very, very um, good study. I've had many women give such positive feedback. This is help for adult children of dysfunctional families. So if you want more information, again, call them at 217-440-8200. They're located at 522 South 8th Street here in Quincy, Illinois. And that's the Tri-State CWM, Center for Women's Ministries. So if you do have an event, an outreach ministry or a church event, please send it to us here two weeks ahead of time so we can get it on Hometown Happenings here on WTJR channel. And we can get it on our community calendar, on the television. We can get it on our Facebook page. We have a lot of different ways we can help you get the information out. Amen? Amen. Okay, get back to my script there. Got some notes here. We have to make notes so I can follow. <laughs> amen, amen. Okay, right now, oh, we're going to show you a video. Jim made a little bit of a video talking about Christ's video. And we also uh, are going to show you a spot about the conference coming up the end of February. Mm. Well, hallelujah and praise the Lord. This is Jim Wilson, engineer here at WTJR in Quincy, Illinois. And I'm going to bring you an update of the Christ Video Music Program. This is a 30-minute program 
that has Christian music videos similar to what you hear on WGCA or K Love Radio, contemporary Christian music videos. And uh, we had this program on the air for several years, but that was in the SD format. The program's now being produced in HD format. And there's about uh, six to seven videos per episode. Now, the reason I started this program about six, I think it was about six years ago now, was because these videos aren't being shown. There's no Christian network anymore. It used to be gospel music television that played all these Christian music videos. And they've been putting out great videos, you know, as technology gets cheaper to film. uh, And well, the creative talent is still very much needed, but they've been producing a lot, especially during the pandemic. I think we've got three or 400 videos that um, I'm perusing through now to make into uh, programs. So be tuned in. It has a great gospel message in a lot of videos, a great family message, a message of encouragement. And we just thank you. And remember here at WTGR, we have four channels. Channel 16.1 is the main HD channel. And then our three sub channels are SD. 16.2 is the lifestyle channel. 16.3 is the Christian video channel. And then it's also the CTNI at select times, which is the Spanish channel. And then 16.4 is a direct feed from CTN, the Christian Television Network, without all of our local programs and other programs uh, inserted there. So we thank God. Remember here at WTGR, we are working together till Jesus returns. Amen. It's our time to be kingdom voices. Take a stand for Jesus Christ. Take a stand on God's word. Amen. Reach out and love to people. Share the gospel story with people and just encourage them each and every day. Everyone you're around, be an encourager to them. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go to our scriptures. Well, first of all, we're praising God for the hope we can have through Jesus Christ that comes from preaching the gospel. And that's what we do 24-7 right here at Quincy, Illinois. Faith is the substance. Now, do you see that word there? Now, right now, right now. Faith is the substance or assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, Hebrews 11.1. We've been speaking several weeks about faith. Faith is a noun, It's also an action word. We have to put it into action. We can speak faith, but then we got to put the action. Like I've heard all through my life, walk the talk. Amen? Complete trust or confidence. Strong belief in God. Based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. Well, as we read God's word, we get proof. 
<laughs> God um, has been true to his promises. He has been with people. He's been with the Israelites. He's been with, he sent a way for sinners, you and I, to be reconciled back to him. So we got proof right here in this holy word of God. Amen. Jer uh, Jeremiah 33, 3. This scripture says, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call unto me. Well, it takes a step of faith to reach out and call unto God, doesn't it? When we're calling unto God, we're praying. Prayer is just talking with God. Spending time with God. And we spend time with those that we love, right? Amen. For God so loved the world, he gave. Well, we should be loving and giving back to God. Love too. Amen? Prayer. We have to, when we pray, we need to believe, right? Let's go to 1 John 5. 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything, anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. This is the confidence. This is the faith. This is the trust that we have in God. And if it's according to his will, and you say, but how do you know the will of God? Well, first of all, you need to have a relationship with him. You know God loves you, and he's got a plan for your life. Do you know he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be that sacrifice, to, that he would shed his blood, that our sins could be washed away. We could be cleansed. And God says he remembers them no more. Scripture says we've all sinned. And it says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is Jesus Christ. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So we can stand on his word. We can have this confidence that he loves us from reading the word of God. Knowing God's will comes from a relationship, comes from reading his word, and it comes from spending time with him in prayer. And I mean more than just thanking God at mealtime. I mean, get away by yourself with God and just talk to him like I'm talking to you. If you're angry at him, tell him you're angry. If you need him to hold you, ask him to hold you. Whatever you need, he said he will answer and show us great and mighty things. God loves you. God bless.